today's topic is mollusca in kingdom animalia unit 1 chapter 2 in zoology so previously we see the arthropods and now today we going to see the mollusca molluscus means soft body animals in latin molluscus means soft body so this is the second largest animal phylum so molluscans are terrestrial aquatic so terrestrial means they live on land aquatic means they live on marine or fresh water so they have organ level that is organ system level of body organization and they are bilateral symmetric that is except in univalves there is no that is there is no bilateral symmetry example apple snail bilateral means it can cut into two equal halves at one plane so triploplastic the origin of three layers ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm and coelomate animals true body cavity is present in this animals so the body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented with a distinct head muscular foot and a visceral hump or visceral mass so the body is covered by the calcium cell that is called as calcareous shell so calcium shell and there is no segmentation as you see in arthropods and annelids so they have a distinct head and the muscular foot is there and the visceral hump is seen you can see the snail no some water round and bulge in the hump hump is a, you can know about the camel hump and the bull humps so like that here they get the visceral hump visceral means inside the internal body you have a hump so which we called as visceral hump or visceral mass a soft layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump so the soft layer of the skin forms a mantle over what the hump the visceral hump so the Uh, that is inside the visceral organ the visceral structure it was covered by a thin layer okay the space between the visceral mass and the mantle that is called pallium is called mantle cavity in which number of feather like gills tinea are present which is which are respiratory in function so there is a gap between the visceral mass and the mantle the mantle is otherwise known as pallium pallium that is called mantle cavity in that you have number of gills called tinea and this gills is responsible for respiration in function the digestive system is complete and mouth contains a rasper gang that is rasping organ called radiola with transverse rows of cutaneous teeth for feeding so radiola is absent in bivalve so radiola is present in univalve organisms so the complete the digestive system is complete it starts from mouth and the mouth and it has an anus that is called radiola the radiola they are in two rows like a teeth which is used for feeding which you which is used for taking the food inside the body okay the sense organs are tentacles eyes and osparidium so to taste the purity of water and present in the bivalves and gastropods so the sense organs like tentacles eyes and osparidium this osparidium is used for testing the purity of water and it is present in bivalve organisms and gastropods so the excretory organs are nephridia here the excretory organs our kidney no like that the excretory organ is nephridia the circulatory system is open type there is no special uh, heart or blood vessels are seen so it is open type so it is seen in that is except in cephalopods so is seen except for cephalopods that is open type and uh, such as squids cuttle fish and octopus so the open type of circulatory system is seen except for cephalopods such as squids cuttlefish and octopus the blood contains hemocyanin due to the presence of copper it is called hemocyanin and what is the function is that it, it is a respiratory pigment no the hemocyanin like hemoglobin in us it has hemocyanin which is a respiratory pigment 
so they are dioecious so sexes are separate male organism and female organisms oviparous is egg laying so the development is indirect indirect with velinger larva that is velinger larva they may ask in your neat exam and in your one mark so which is the modification of trochophore larva so trochophore larva modification is called velinger larva so the development is indirect that is from starts from the egg and lay uh, larval stages and then to the imago imago to the adult stage so examples is pila apple snake lamellidens mussel pintada pearl oyster sepia cuttlefish logigo loligo squid octopus devil fish so these are the examples of molluscans and you can see the pila that is the snail apple snail octopus you know very well about the octopus squid squid oyster the pearl oyster where the pearls are arise from this so it is an oyster marbled cone snail so this snail shape is cone shaped and it delivers a dangerous venom that is a poisonous venom means poisonous which can cause vision loss respiratory failure paralysis muscle paralysis and eventually death and there is no anti venom for uh, is available so there is no the what the poison it creates no it is a very dangerous one which can causes vision loss respiratory failure muscle paralysis and eventually death and there is no antidote for this poison okay so this they make ask so marbled cone snail botanical name sorry zoological name is conus marmoreus so conus marmoreus is the marble cone snail which contains the dangerous poison venon and it doesn't have any antidote okay antidote or anti venom and the causes if you take this snail it causes the vision loss respiratory failure muscle paralysis and even death so thank you for watching the video if you like the video give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel